Hi everyone, today we'll be discussing the basics of gameplay. In this video, I will be explaining how I go about the process of taking care of one of my dogs. Hopefully this will also help you with taking care of your dogs. So currently we're at my owner's page, which is a pretty nice page. So we want to go to my kennel to take care of my dogs. To do so, we can over click the kennel link in this brown bar over here, right here, or, or we can click this link. So let's go to my kennel. Anyway, now that we're at my kennel, we, let's click on Sally to be taken to her page. So as you can currently see, Sally isn't yet cared for because I haven't equipped her with anything, and therefore I can't really interact with her well. If we click on Sally's item tab right here, we can view all of her items. As I mentioned before, she doesn't really have anything, so we need to equip her with items. So if you notice, each of the eight categories, the water bowl, the food bowl, the color, etc., has a green button that says equip right here. If I click on one of and if I click the button in one of these boxes, I can equip an item to Sally. So let's click on the water bowl button. As you can see, I currently have bowls in my invent inventory, so I can equip one to her by clicking on a bowl of my choosing. And therefore, now she gets equipped with a bowl. But what if your inventory is completely empty? What if you have no bowls? In that case, you would need to go to the market. Specifically, you would need to go to the accessory shop to buy some dog bowls. To, to do that, you hover your mouse over this link and you click Accessory Shop right here. Uh, while I'm at the shops, I'll just take the time to describe the purposes of them. So if you look right over here, you'll see a list of all the shops as well as other things like the where you can purchase dogs. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll just be going over these four shops because they're the only ones necessary for our taking care of our dogs for now. Uh, but if you're curious about the other shops and other places, you can just explore them on your own time. They're pretty interesting, you can find lots of cool things. Anyway, the accessory shop, which I'm currently at right now, is where you can find accessories for your dogs, such as, for example, leashes, bowls, beds, collars, etc. The food shop is where you can find chews, uh, different types of food, and also containers to hold the food. The grooming shop is where you can find places to keep your dog clean and well-groomed, and the toy shop is where you can find uh, toys to keep your dog happy. Anyway, at the accessory shop, you can often, as I mentioned before, you can find bowls. Uh, there aren't really many options, different options for the bowls right now, but normally there are. The shop restocks every 15 minutes, so right now it's uh, 5.23, at 5.30 it will restock. With more bowls. Anyway, I'm just going to choose this bowl. If I click on it, I can purchase the amount of items I want. I'll just go with one, uh, ten for now. If I click this button, I can purchase bowls. So now that I've bought a bowl, I can go back to my kennel and equip it to my dog. Any bowl can be used for either the water bowl or the food bowl. There isn't only a bowl that can be used for water or just food. So if I wanted to, I can equip a gray bowl to my water bowl and it would work. So now that I have assigned the bowls, I can interact with Sally a bit. Let's try clicking the water bowl and the feed bowl. Water and feed options, actually. Water, feed. As you can see, feeding Sally doesn't work. This is actually because I have not assigned her any food yet. But we can ignore that for now because that goes hand in hand with training Sally in a sport. The same goes for collars and leashes, they help with sports. So let's get Sally a bed now. I can equip I can click this button to equip it with her. Since I already have a bed, I'll just equip it for her. However, if I did not have a bed, as you know, I can go to the accessory shop. Anyway, you might or might not already know this, but you don't actually need to give your dog a bed to clean them. The bed actually just adds extra comfort. If you couldn't tell by adding the bed, I increased her comfort by 50%, and this helps her do well in competitions. So let's clean her kennel now. So next I will I normally give my dogs a chew. Chews are not needed, but they boost the dog's competitions. I mean they boost the dog's uh, comfort and condition so that they'll do well in competitions. Right now I'll equip Sally with a pig ear, which has a 35% break chance as you can see right here. Uh, different chews have different break chances. If we go to the food shop, we can view all the different chews and their break chances. 
The order of break chances from highest to lowest is a pig ear with a 35% break chance, rawhide bone with a 25% break chance, and antler chew, which is currently not in stock, with a 10% break chance, and the krong chews with a 1% break chance. The smaller the break chance, the more expensive it is. So, as you can see, the pig ear with a 35% break chance is the least expensive at only 54 FP dollars. However, it breaks the most often, so you have to keep on restocking it, restocking it which is why some people go with Krong Chews, which are more expensive. If you're new to furry paws, I would recommend going with cheaper options for the time beings and buying more expensive ones as you gain more money. So let's go back to Sally now. Currently, she has bowls, a bed, and a chew. She still needs food and a toy, and possibly a leash and collar. So let's assign Sally a toy now. In order to do so, we first need to know her personality. So if I click on her about tab right here, I can view her personality right here. As you can see, Sally is confident, which means that the best toy that matches her is a tug rope. Let's assign her one. This is a tug rope, as you can see. If you notice, I have many different toys in my inventory. If you hover your mouse over the toy, you'll be shown which toy matches which personality. For example, a puzzle box help, uh, matches with an independent personality, a plushie represents matches with a meek, a rubber ball matches with, a, with an obsessive personality, etc. Since Sally is confident, I'll equip her with a tug rope. If you need to buy a toy, you can head over to the toy shop and purchase one. As you can see, there uh, some toys are more expensive. This is because they last longer. They have 100 uses compared to only maybe, say, 15 uses for another toy. Anyway, I've assigned a toy to Sally, so I'll play with her now. I only need to play with her until the green check mark is shown, and if I play with her anymore, it just wastes use of the toys. For example, if I keep on playing with Sally, I lost red tug rope because I used all of her, the red tug rope's uses. Anyway, now that Sally is happy, let's groom her. As you can see, I don't have any grooming supplies in my inventory, so I need to go to the grooming shop to purchase one. Let's purchase one of each of these and assign them to my grooming center. So let's, I'll purchase the least expensive comb, shampoo, matting tool, slicker, a slicker, and a brush. And now I'll assign them to her, to the grooming center. Basically, if I click on my inventory, I go to grooming, and I can click on an item, and these are its uses. Adding it to the grooming center helps you uh, groom your dog. Sorry for this. Might be a bit boring. Anyway, now I can groom Sally with a comb. Now that I have done that, let's move on, on to the sport that we want Sally to compete in. If I click on her about tab again, I can see all the sports that Sally has an aptitude in right here. Basically, these are the sports that she'll most likely do. These are the sports that she'll most likely do better in. So let's train Sally in a sport. In order to train her, you click this button. Sally's aptitude had obedience, musical, freestyle, and show. The recommended sports shown over here only match with your dog's base stats. And these actually don't depend on the aptitude. For example, Sally did not have an aptitude in show. Sorry, she did not have an aptitude in agility, but um, it's still recommended. Anyway, let's train her musical freestyle. Now I have to click this button again. Anyway, now that I'm back on Sally's page, I can train her as I already did. This will help her in competitions because it increases the stats. Now that I've decided Sally's sport, I can purchase her color, leash, and food that will help increase her important stats. If I go to Sally's career tab, which is right here, I can see what sports her stat focuses in. These are agility, charisma, and intelligence. 
right here. Different sports, however, have different stats they focus on. So let's feed Sally. Since her sport depends mainly on agility, charisma, and intelligence, I should purchase food that boosts one of those stats. Let's head to the food shop. Currently, the only thing Sally can eat is basic food and Barky Bites, but this isn't useful because it doesn't actually boost any stats, whereas these foods boost stats. As you can see, there are many different types of foods. If you hover your mouse over the food, they show the stat type they boost and the amount and chance of it happening. For example, Boo Food, Blue Food with Lamb boosts agility, which is one of the main stats that Sally, of the sport that Sally is trained in. Let's buy it to feed Sally. Now let's head to the accessory shop to buy leashes and collars for Sally. Collars and leashes also boost stats. However, they all have different level requirements. For example, these leashes need your dog to be at least on level 5. Like food, collars and leashes are also color coded, with each color corresponding to a stat. For now, let's buy Sally a white collar, which boosts charisma, and a purple leash, which boosts intelligence. Later on, as you get more comfortable with the game, you can choose whether you only want to focus on one stat of a sport called bias or not. If you have further questions about stats and the best sports for your dog, feel free to refer to the help articles in the help section over here, or the help board on the forums over here, right here. Anyway, let's go back to our dog. And let's equip her with a plain white collar and the purple leash, and also blue food. Now we can feed Sally. Now we've completely equipped Sally. Before letting her compete though, we need to vaccinate Sally. So if you click on this button, you'll see a list of all these clinics and more. And it goes on and on. However, if these are too expensive for you, you can also search for a clinic in right here. You can also search for a specific price. Let's search for a free clinic. Free clinics are especially useful because they don't cost anything to vaccinate or gene test your dog. Which basically, as you get more dogs, it's extremely helpful because you might be spending thousands vaccinating all of your dogs when you could be spending nothing. So let's vaccinate Sally by clicking this. Oh, let's also gene test her. This gene testing basically shows your dog's dog genetics, and vaccinating helps is required for the dog to compete. Now let's return to Sally. We can finally compete her. If you click this button, you can end her with combinations with your own preferences. You can also click this link for extra options, but I won't be going into that for now. So let's click this button to enter her into competitions. The results will be given tomorrow, and you'll be able to see them if you go to the Dog's Career tab. I haven't competed Sally yesterday, so that's why there are no comp competition results. You can also earn a lot of money from competitions. If you go to your Manage page, which is located by hovering your mouse over your kennel and clicking this link, you can click any possible earnings. Currently I have none. The next day, tomorrow, which would be tomorrow, if you've already clicked and competed your dog, you'll be able to see if your dog has leveled up, and you won't actually have to equip your dog again. For example, if I'm in Sally, and if I go to my next dog, dog Sam, I can already interact with her because I've equipped her with many things. I can also level her up. Alrighty then. I hope this tutorial helped you understand basic gameplay knowledge. If you have further questions, please feel free to ask our newbie helpers or consult the help articles. Happy playing!